Hi guys, so I know it's been so long since I filmed a video and even uploaded a video, and I'm pretty sure this is going to be the next video up. It is the, the 9th of June, and I am doing my May favorites a third of the month into the next month. I mean, what? Not a big deal, right? And I'm going to start with the one fashion item I have, just because I really liked it in May, but it was the last week of May and for my internship. I wore these shoes every day for, I'm pretty sure, the first like week. They just look like this. And they have a little peep toe, peep toe, and they have this really pretty silver detailing, which I love silver. I'm not a gold person. I do, I'm not a fan of gold at all. And so, and then they just have this really little heel, so it looks nice, um, but it's not super dressy, because where I work, um, it is a engineering um, consulting firm, so sometimes you meet with more small town people that don't dress up very much going to work, and then sometimes you'll meet with higher up people, which you need to look nice. So these, I feel like, are a great, there's two of them, a great um, mixture of the two. The only bad thing was, the first day, we went on to a job site, and it had rained the night before, so I got these pretty muddy, but they work. The nice thing about these is they clean up really well, and since they have like black and white in them, you can't really tell if they get dirty. The next thing we'll do is some bath stuff. It is a scent by Bath and Body Works called Charmed Life, and just looks like this. And I got this quite a while ago, I believe, and then I just recently picked up this. And I'm really liking the body wash and the lotion together, because after I get out of the shower, I'll put this on, and then sometimes when or when my skin is dry and I'm in the bathroom because it's where I keep it I'll put this on as well and so I've really been liking these two together I really like that they go together because it just makes I don't have to worry about what my bath like what my body is smelling like and then put lotion on top of it sometimes you know they don't always go together and so these like obviously go together they're from the same they're the same scent so I really do like that um, and I might have to keep doing that it's, the next thing is going to be kind of a random favorite, but if you know, um, in April, I my eye went insane, and I was not able to wear my contacts, and my glasses were so out of date, I went and tried to get my driver's license. I'm not sure if I told you this, but I couldn't get it. Like, my eyes, I failed the eye test. Like, that's why. And just because my glasses were, like, three years old, and my eyes have changed so much, like, I can still see, but not very clearly, like, the street signs and stuff. I can still see, like, driving-wise, it was fine, and, but they still gave me my driver's license back, which I didn't understand, since I failed the eye test, why they would give me my old one back, and then just say, come back, but I did get my driver's license, because I got contacts, and these are different than the other ones I've had, and these are by Siba Vision, Siba Vision, I'm not really sure, um, but they are the dailies, they're the Aqua Comfort Plus, and so they're really moisturizing, and... My eyes get really dry, and I really like them because I don't wear my contacts every day. Um, my eyes just, I think, are just sensitive, and they don't enjoy contacts every day. Um, and in the morning, so if my eyes hurt, I don't even try to put in contacts. So these are nice because it comes with, mine came with a pack of 90, and this is the left eye. So, um, and then they just come with this, so every day you use one of these. So basically it's good for 90 days. Um, so it's really nice because you don't have to worry about when did I last change them because you just throw them out every night and if you don't wear them one day you don't have to buy them for that day and you don't have to you know just throw them out every month or when your eyes start hurting because that's what I would do because I'd always forget when I turned them or when I switched them so I just wait till they start hurting and take them out and that probably was not good for my eyes so now I've been wearing my when I do wear my contacts I wear them just for the day and then throw them away which is amazing if you they are a little more bit more expensive but they're so worth it like because I don't wear my contacts every day I probably wore them I probably wore them two times this last week two or three times maybe um and then I also got glasses with them and they just look like this I can put them on but I probably can't see out of them yeah they just look like that and they have this design on them the next two things are nail polish now I don't have nail polish on my nails right now I took this one off actually Fina by Julep um, which I believe is going to be in an outfit of the day coming up it's just this really pretty blue color um, it was quite messy when I put it on um, just because I was doing it 
while we were working on our wedding invitations. Um, but yeah. And I really like it. It's just a really pretty sky blue. It's not um, too overpowering. And, but it looks really nice. And the other one is one I loved this last summer and loved, I love last summer and I'm loving it again. It is by Avon. It is a speed dry and it is called Mambo Melon. This looks like this. And then I believe my fiance's mom got it for me for Christmas. This, not last year, but the year before that. Um, but it's just so bright and it's just like a bright coral it's amazing i have one thing for my hair and it is the aussie split in protector it just looks like this and i don't know if it really protects my split ends i have noticed a difference since i started using this i don't have as many i'm trying to get rid of them and this has really helped um i've noticed a difference now it hasn't gotten completely away from it and i haven't used as much heat on my hair um just because i wake up late for my internship and i have to be there um I get 7.30, so not super early, but early enough for the summertime, right? I think so. The last thing before we get into makeup is this facial cleanser, and it's by Burt's Bees. Um, it's called Orange Essence, and it's just a little trial size, uh, and this smells so good. Like, I haven't noticed a huge difference in, like, the texture of my face or, like, how clean it gets. Like, I just haven't noticed that. But the smell is amazing and it just like feels like it opens up, at least my nose. So I feel like it's going to open up my skin like because it's just, it smells orange and citrusy and it just smells so good. The first product I've been loving and it was pretty much for school and for um, work and just in general because I really like it. I like the SPF um, 15. It is the Garnier Skin Renew um, Miracle Skin, Skin Protector BB Cream and I'm wanting to get some more BB creams. Um... But I haven't yet. And this is the light to medium. It is, I would say, darker than my skin tone. Which, my skin tone is not dark right now. Um, so I really like this BB cream. It just has the perfect amount of coverage for me. And it gives your skin some sunscreen, which is good too. And it's really easy to put on. You just like put it on. And I usually put powder on with anything just to like help set it and just stay on a little bit longer. But I think they only have two colors, which is kind of a problem because this is a wee bit too dark for me but I think by the end of the summer it'll be a little bit too light um, hopefully and maybe a lot too light I don't know so I really like this the color selection is not very good though if you want to get it just to let you know this is light and medium and then I think they have a medium dark when I use that BB cream a lot of times I'll use this fit me powder and it is in 125 and it just looks like this it's like the mirror broke on the other side. The mirror book. And it's just this color right here. It's just a really light um, color. And so I just sweep this all over my face. And it gives my skin a little color and it makes it matches my skin tone pretty well. Uh, you can even tell it matches in this light, I think. Um, it matches my skin tone pretty well, so sometimes the BB cream's too dark or too light that day. This just gives it the right amount of color for it. Um, I did use my Rimmel translucent powder a lot, um, but if I notice I need a little more color or a little less color, depending on what it is, this is like, this is perfect. The next thing is something I used when I was mainly at school, um, just because this is the only blush and bronzer I brought back to school. Um, and it's the e.l.f. Contour Blush and Bronzer. It just looks like this. The bronzer looks really dark. And you do have to, like, for my skin tone at least, like, really blend it out. Because the first time I put it on, I didn't think it was going to be as pigmented as it was. And I just didn't think, um, I didn't think it would come out this dark. It really does come out this dark. Like, and then the other blush is a little chalky. But it's really a pretty combination together. And I really do like it. Um, and it was perfect when I was at school because I just took this and I didn't have to worry about, um, bringing home a bunch of makeup and made coming home a lot easier. We'll go on to mascara and I only have one mascara and it is the Maybelline Lash Stiletto and it is the waterproof, which I didn't realize I got the waterproof, but, and it's very loved. I got it a while ago, um, probably last summer. And this is what the wand looks like. It's just a really thin wand, but it makes your lashes so, so long. And I really like it. Um, and I really 
and it does stay on for quite a bit. I don't know if it's because the waterproof one or not. My eyes are my favorite thing on my face, and so I feel like if they look good, my face looks good. So I always have so many products for them, and I always put something on them. I'm not one to just forget about my eyes or like I'm lazy I'm not going to put anything on. Now a couple times I did just use um, this e.l.f. shimmer palette and it is in Sunrise and it just looks like this and they're just cream eyeshadows which I love. They remind me of the Revlon cream luminous shadows um, but they are by e.l.f. and they're all, they're like three dollars but and they're a lot more oily but they have quite a bit of pigmentation. The only difference is they're not as thick. They're like really oily. So if you have oily eyelashes or eyelashes, if you have oily eyelids, I probably wouldn't recommend these because they're so oily. I don't. Uh, my eyelids actually get tend to get dry, but I do usually use a primer because um, I never know what I'm going to do with my eyes. So I normally always use a primer and then I would put these on and just like an extra primer. And so I really like these um, and they're like three bucks. So they're not very expensive. Um, so I really like those. work, I've been using the Maybelline Expert, Expert Wear Eyeshadow in Mocha Motion and it just looks like this. Um, it's just a bunch of like neutral brown colors and they're very matte and I just usually use this as a highlight. This for all over my lid and sometimes that and then these for like creases or depending on how dark I want it but I really reach for this a lot just because it probably doesn't have a lid so I saw it a lot um, and so I use this a lot and I really like the browns with blue eyes which is the color I have my eyes are blue and um, so I really really like this I'm really I like browns a lot for my eyes um, so, and they just go with everything so even if you don't know what you're gonna wear that day it's perfect because you can just go with this and most likely 99% of what you could pick out looks good with this. In May, I got the Eco Tools eye sh set because I didn't bring any back to my home or to my school town. And so these are what they look like. There is a crease bl brush, a blend brush, a shade brush, a highlighter brush, and a smudge brush. And um, I'm not a big brush person. Like I didn't see the importance of it until I got these, which obviously are not the best brushes on the planet. But they have so many different shapes and sizes. I would just use one that probably looked like this highlighter brush. Um, or a smaller version of the crease brush for almost for highlighting, creasing, whatever I was going to use. But these brushes made such a big difference. And difference. So I really want to get some more high-end brushes and for like my face and stuff. And so just to see if the brushes really do make a difference. So I've heard so many people talk about it and I really didn't believe it until I got these, which obviously, you know, they're not super expensive, but they just, the different shapes and sizes just make such a huge difference. And so they're not super expensive. So just go to Walmart and get them. Seriously, do it. My last three things are lip products and these are them. Um, they're all very moisturizing because my lips were getting really dry. Um, the first thing is at school, I would use the Nivea Kiss of Flavor. And this is in Strawberry, I believe. Yep. Just looks like this. And then it's bright red. And then the color payoff, it's not amazing. It's right there. It's not amazing, but it's not horrible. And, um... This is actually what I have on my lips right now. It's just so moisturizing and I love it. And it does give my lips quite a bit of color um, and just some nice shimmer. And it's kind of like a lip gloss and a chapstick in one, which is my favorite thing on the planet. And then obviously it has some color, like kind of like a lipstick, but I just really like this a lot. The other thing I used a lot is this Lip Fusion and it's just a lip balm. And I got this in my Birch Box and it's just clear. Um, it just looks like this. And it's really moisturizing. It reminds me of the Nivea one a lot, except for it's just clear. So if I don't want necessarily a red lip, I can put this on and then like a different color. And then it just has the same moisture level, but just not the color. And it has this, it has I would, a decent amount of shine. Um, or if you want just like your natural looking lip with just a little bit of shimmer, it's perfect. I'm really liking Peach a lot this month. And I believe I've shown this in a haul. It is the Caramel Comfort. And it is the Color Rich Balm by L'Oreal. By L'Oreal. And it just looks like this. And then it looks really dark. But then when you swatch it. Let me swatch it on. Then when you swatch it. 
and it's still pretty dark but it comes off a lot more peachy um, when you put on your lips it comes off pretty peachy which is nice and so yeah I really like that as well so sorry this is so long um, I tend to talk a lot when I haven't made a video a lot so hopefully I'll be able to cut this down and I hope you enjoyed. I'm sorry for the lack of videos. I'm going to really try. And I'm going to film, I think, a an update about my wedding, an update about life, and then just a haul maybe. Because I got a lot of stuff at a store. It's a bad deal. So I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and let me know what you're thinking. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye!